Hey folks and welcome back and in today's video we'll be looking into how we can install Hacks in Home Assistant OS. Now what is Hacks? Hacks is Home Assistant Community Store. Now on this you will find integrations provided by the community developers which are actually not part of the official add-ons of Home Assistant. So today we will be looking at how we can install Hacks. So let's get started. Now to install hacks, what we need is this terminal. Now, if you have not configured the SSH terminal inside Home Assistant, you can find this particular video here wherein I have shown you how to enable SSH inside Home Assistant OS. So once you do that particular setup, you will get this particular SSH terminal and this will now allow you to do an SSH inside Home Assistant OS. So now next, what you will have to do is you will have to go to this download page from hacks and copy this particular command. So we're just going to copy this from here and we're going to go back to Home Assistant. And then here we are going to paste this using Control, Shift and V. So using Control, Shift and V, you will be able to paste this copy text onto the terminal. Now what we're going to do is press Enter. So with this, it is now actually installing hacks and it has already finished installing hacks on Home Assistant. So now once you have done this, what you'll have to do is you need to restart Home Assistant. So for this, go to settings, click on this three dots here and then click restart Home Assistant. So click on restart and now Home Assistant will restart. So let's wait for some time for this thing to restart. Now Home Assistant has restarted. What we're going to do is we are going to go now here in devices and services. We're going to click on add integrations and here we're going to search for hacks. So this option will now be available. Click on this. Now, once you have this screen, you need to click on all of these and agree to these statements and then click on submit. Now, the next thing that you need to do is we need to authorize our GitHub account. So this link that is there, you will have to click on this and this will open in a new tab. Now, remember that you will have to create this particular GitHub account and this GitHub account is free of charge. You don't have to pay anything. It's free. So I'm going to actually log in using my username and password. After logging in, so this will ask you for this particular code to be put in. So go back here, copy this particular code and put it here. So now I have put in the code here and I'm going to click on continue. So now it's going to ask you, do you want to authorize this? And I'm going to say authorize. So now I have given hacks the authority actually to access GitHub through which it can actually download the various repositories. So now I'm going to click on finish. And if you see here, this particular hacks has been put into the sidebar. Now, if you don't get this particular on the sidebar, what you'll have to do is refresh this particular page, clearing the caches. So on Windows, it is Control F5. On Mac, it is Command Shift N R. So you'll see this hack store here. Now, when I click on this, you will actually now see the integrations. So these are the various integrations like backend integrations as well as various front-end UIs that are available. Once you click here, you can explore a ton of repositories from here. There are quite many UI elements that are available as well as various other community provided integrations. So if I click on the integration section, you will find these integrations and in the front end section, you will find front end related elements. So I hope you found this particular video helpful. And if so, make sure to hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more such videos to come. Till then, take care and I'll see you in my next one.